Hey, Psych2Go family. Before we start, we want to thank you for supporting us. Psych2Go's mission is to help everyone learn more about psychology and mental health in a digestible way. We aim to achieve this purpose through our videos and partnerships. One of these partnerships include Kids Help Phone, Canada's only 24 seven e-mental health solution service, who kindly partnered with us to create this video. Let's begin. Do you feel stressed so intensely that it negatively affects your day-to-day -day activities in your life? Whether you're struggling with mental health disorders or an overwhelming circumstance, you aren't alone. One in four people in the world have been affected by mental or neurological disorders at one point in their life. According to the World Health Organization, treatment is often available, but is not sought out. So in this video, we present to you five reasons why you should reach out for help. Number one, mental health disorders can affect your physical health. Mental and physical health are closely linked. Mental health issues can make it difficult for you to get the diet, exercise, and sleep your body needs to be healthy. For example, dealing with mental health issues can mean an additional challenge to get out of bed in the morning. In addition, dealing with large amounts of psychological stress can also weaken your immune system, so it's harder to fight off bugs that can make you ill. Over time, mental illness can literally wear away at you physically, increasing your risk of chronic diseases such as cancer. Getting counseling can help you deal with overwhelming emotions and build habits that support your physical health. Number two, mental health disorders affect productivity in school and work. Have you experienced difficulty concentrating or focusing on school and work because of a mental health condition? Indeed, studies have shown that those with anxiety and depression have more difficulties with concentration and working memory which are often necessary for learning and remembering information. Students with untreated depression also tend to have lower scores and are more likely to drop out of high school or college. Getting treatment can help you feel better and restore interest in the areas you care about, which can make studying easier and more productive for you. In turn, this can help you finish your education and be well prepared for a fulfilling career. Number three, getting help can improve logical decision-making. Being able to make rational decisions is important for everyday life. Do you feel even more overwhelmed lately to the point that it's hard to make logical decisions? If so, it might be time to reach out. Talking to a family member, coach, or counselor can make hard decisions easier. These trusted people can guide you in making the best decisions. In fact, studies suggest that simply talking things out allows you to make a more logical decision. So whether you're worrying about what to eat for dinner or making life-changing decisions, talking it out will help. Never be scared to reach out for help. There's no issue too small. Number four, counseling can make you feel more connected and confident. Have you ever felt alone in your thoughts? Mental illness can be isolating, hurting our self-esteem and confidence. In fact, Studies show that poor self-esteem is one of the main contributors to feelings of self-loathing and social isolation, difficult social relationships with friends and family, and may even predispose us to more negative outcomes for our physical and mental health. Though reaching out for help can seem scary, it can be the first step to learning self-improvement. Other research articles have confirmed that cognitive behavioral therapy, which is delivered through counseling, improves feelings of confidence and helps people improve the relationship with themselves and the people around them. Number five, counseling can help you gain new perspectives. Do you see exams as stressful situations? Do you want that mindset to change, but aren't sure how? By talking to someone else about your thoughts, you can come up with novel solutions to these challenges. Your trained counselor may point you towards new resources and strategies that are new to you, which can be beneficial. For example, if you experience a lot of stress because of the expectations you place on yourself during exams, your counselor may suggest approaching exams in a new light, treating it as a fun game where you can test yourself on the new things you've learned. So which reasons do you resonate with the most? Let us know in the comments below. We at like to go hope these tips help you with your transition back to school this fall. If you'd like to talk to someone, please consider checking out Kids Help Phone. It's linked in the description box below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.